Hey Derek, my name is Kay. I, I know about the logging business, been in it for a long time, so with that said, I know you're a hard worker. Um, I've been watching your brother's post on Facebook and reading his post um, also, and I'm sad to hear that you've been in a hospital and been struggling with um, your condition. For you, hope you get to go home soon, especially this week because it is Thanksgiving and nobody deserves to be away from their family for Thanksgiving. I um, hope you get to go home soon. hope you start feeling better soon. And I hope the next post that your brother posts about you um, is either about you going home or you're back in the woods working. Um, we wish you the best, and if there's anything that we can do for you, do let us know, and happy Thanksgiving. As y'all can see, the 830 is sitting up on the hill there. And sometimes... You have to get out on the ground and do some walking. As you can see, I'm down by a creek right here. Well, this is a this is a whole big drain right here that I'm walking into now. And so what I'm doing is I'm looking for uh, some flags, which I know where they're at. I just want to show you show y'all. Oh, the loggers on this right here don't need to see this. This is for everybody else. So this pink one right here. That's a harvest boundary flag, and it's what that is. That's where we stopped cutting at. Which, this is all the same property owner right here. But then this is the one I was looking for right here. This one, you see it says, uh, it says stream, it actually says streamside management zone. And what a streamside management zone is, you can see all this wood down in here. Uh, this is not to be cut. Oops. Yeah, it's still recording. Thought I hit the stop. This is not to be cut. Some we, streamside management zones, the short part is SMZs. Some SMZs, you can cut 50% of the canopy out of it, so you can take 50% of the trees out of it, which is, uh, you know, half of them, and which most people just take the big ones out. And in some SMZs, depending on where it is and all that stuff, you can't get in them at all to take anything out. So you ask, what does the SMZ do? Well, here's what the SMZ does. It, it's just like, this is a gigantic drain I'm standing in right here. And these trees are acting like grass, is what they are, or hay or mulch on the ground. It protects the integrity of this drain right here. Because if you cut all these trees down in here and you cut these ones off of this ditch bank, like these two trees right here, for instance, if you take those trees down, then the roots die that are holding that soil down there. They die, and then the, the dirt, when it rains, all this starts silting in down here in this creek bed, and it raises the creek bed. Also, the reason why you don't cut the take more than 50% of the canopy out is because down there in that water there's all kind of living stuff in that water and you know there's little fish there's tadpoles there's crawfish all kind of little microorganisms and stuff that are down there that you can't see with your eye well if you take this canopy out and we have we you know we get in the summertime here in mississippi you know 100 degree days you know that water's only a few inches deep right there well that stuff can't survive those fish can't survive i mean it'd be just like you taking a fish out of your fish tank at home and putting it in a little glass with about that much water and setting it outside in 100 degrees direct sunlight joker ain't gonna live long he's gonna kick the bucket so i just thought i'd give you a quick smz streamside management zone 101 class but like I said, you guys that are loggers, y'all know this. I don't have, but I do. I have a lot more people who are not loggers who watch my channel, and they don't know this stuff like this. So that's one of the things as we do as loggers are supposed to do as loggers to enhance the environment, and we're supposed to protect that stuff like that. And uh, and so you have to get out on the ground every now and then and look and spot these flags and stuff like that. And sometimes they're not flagged. We have to look for them. We just have to, well, they're not flagged and we just have to cut them by how we know how to cut them. So the rule of thumb 
the smaller the ditch, the tighter the SMZ, the bigger the ditch, the little bit larger SMZ that you leave. So I hope y'all enjoyed that little, little clip there. Y'all be good. Have fun. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. The thumb, freaking thumbs up, man. All that mess like that. Uh, Derek, little update on Derek. Derek's doing a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, he loved the video, man. He loved that video that I did. Get well soon. So thanks to y'all. We'll see y'all later.